Hello everyone, this is Line, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to take regular 2D text, as you see here, and turn it into faux 3D text, as you see here. Uh, so we're going to be using something called beveling, and so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to double-click on the text layer, and we're going to go to an option that needs a little checkbox, checked for bevel and emboss. And as you can see, it's uh, it's not quite like a hard bevel there, and the reason is because there are some additional settings. One of them happens to be something that says soften. All right, and we're going to take that soften, we're going to bring it down to zero. Well, at least that's what I'm going to do for mine. You could change it to whatever you like. Sometimes some people want it somewhere in between. I'm going to do some hard softening here, and then uh, you have your depth. Um, so the more you make the depth, that gives it some more like height to this like 3D text, so I'm going a thousand percent, and you can change the size, but I think uh, what I have it at it's seven uh, seems pretty good for this. The other thing you have here too is you have the shading and lighting, so you could change the angle of it. Right now I have mine set to the top left, and so you could do the same thing, right? You can put whatever wherever you want the light to come from. So, uh, so that seems like it's all right. Uh, and then to give it a little bit more depth, I guess, uh, is what I'm looking for, I'll add a little shadow. So I, I already had a color already set, but you can make it whatever you like. Um, whatever your preference is. So even that works, because it is set to multiply uh, for the blend mode. If you had it on normal, then it would be a color. Uh, but we're going to multiply, so we just get some darkening going on. Yeah, this way we add a little bit more uh, of a dramatic shading going on. And then let's add a little drop shadow. Um, so we're going to check the box that says drop shadow in this same window. And let's lower the size. And maybe bring up the opacity a little bit. Go. Bring up the opacity a little bit more. There we go. All right. So we're almost looking like the uh, the original suggested piece there. Uh, but there was one more thing I wanted to do, and I I felt like maybe the background also could use some effects to it too. So what we could do is we can uh, create a new layer, and then go to our gradient tool and just use some white. And since the light is coming from the top left, we're going to click and drag downward in a diagonal direction. And right now we have some white light, and we could actually stick with that, and that seems pretty good, but if you feel like white is too much, maybe just go with an overlay. And that's cool. Yeah. All right. So there you go. That's how you could do some faux 3D with 2D text using the bevel and emboss layer effects tool. All right. Well, you're watching Learn with Line. This is Line. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Or if you have any suggestions for the next video, please let me know. All right. Talk to you next time.